Hey, what's up, guys? Chad here with the Reptile Rangers. Now, we're at the Kernersville Reptile Zoo and Medical Center again today, and we're going to talk about this little ornate Euromastix right here. Beautiful little guy. These are absolutely awesome little lizards, okay? Now, check this out. These little guys right here are from the Middle East, okay? This right here is called the Ornate Euromastix. Now, these colors are probably some of the rarest colors that's out there that's naturally produced. These are one of the first ones that was brought into captivity. They're much smaller than the Egyptian Euromastix. The Egyptian Euromastix are much larger. They get quite a bit bigger, but these guys are incredibly striking animals. Now, these are a really, really popular species. We've already done an episode on underrated pets, which would be the Euromastix, and we did the yellows and the reds, but now we have this beautiful ornate that has come into us that we're just enjoying being able to show you guys and talk about. They are incredibly striking with blues and greens. There'll be a little bit of yellows and whites that come into them as well, and they're super friendly. You can see the yellows there as well. The great thing about the Euromastix, unlike a lot of your bearded dragons, is the Euromastix are almost strictly, strictly vegetable or vegetation eaters. So they don't typically eat bugs. In the wild, very seldom will, will you ever find them doing that, and they don't prefer it. They prefer things like dandelions, fruits and vegetables, lentils, uh, things like that. So these guys even make an even easier pet to keep than even the bearded dragons, especially for folks that don't like the bugs or having to feed bugs out or bring bugs into your home. These guys right here, as you can see, super amazing little guys. They're super active, but once they're comfortable, they're incredibly active little guys. And once they get warmed up, they'll explore their territory and they make a great, friendly companion animal. All right, now, this is just kind of a quick show of another species of Euromastix that's a pretty awesome and beautiful, beautiful species of Euromastix called the Ornate Euromastix. In the, in the, the, the science world, it would be considered Euromastix ornata. Right, now, the Ornate Euromastix is probably one of the most striking of the Euromastic lizards, uh, the Agamid species, and they are absolutely awesome. And that's full grown, okay? Now, this is Chad. We are the Reptile Rangers here at the Kernersville Reptile Zoo and Medical Center. Make sure to hit the subscribe button right there. Make sure to hit the like button and the bell for notification. Make sure to feel free to write us in and let us know of other things you want us to film about. Our information will be in the description below for those needing to get in touch with us. Also, don't forget to check out our TikTok channel entitled Reptile Rangers. Also, the Instagram page under Kernersville Reptile Zoo. We appreciate you guys coming along week after week after week. We'll either see you here at the zoo or we'll see you on the next episode. Later.